Today, I'm happy to present to you a 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. So what is the CLA 250? When the CLA class launched all the way back in 2013, it started under the C-Class as Mercedes' least expensive model in its lineup. That is until recently the new A-Class slotted under the CLA and that became Mercedes' least expensive model. CLA stands for Coupe Light A-Class. Although it's not actually a coupe, the coupe part in the name suggests that the styling is more coupe-like than sedan. Light of course means lightweight, and A-Class means that the CLA is basically derived from the A-Class hatchback, which was until recently not sold in the United States. The goal of the CLA was to create a more attainable sedan for this luxury automaker, but at the same time to retain the same quality and desirability you would expect from a Mercedes-Benz product. Up at the front, you have bi-xenon headlights, we're just having the bi-xenon headlight package. And with the xenon lights, you also have LED daytime running lights, as well as LED turn signals. This one is also equipped with the sport package, so it has different front and rear bumpers, as well as sport tube suspension. And along with the sport package, it has the optional 18-inch alloy wheels with perforated disc brakes. The 225 40R18s. On the side, you have LED turn signal indicators on the mirrors. You also have chrome around the windows, and the doors have pillarless glass. When the vehicle is locked, you cannot open the fuel door. Out back, you have LED taillights, which also come on the Bi-Xenon headlight package. It also has air vents on the rear fenders for the sport package and dual chrome exhaust tips. So, spoiler. This one does have the panoramic sunroof. It's an LED third brake light. Powering the CLA 250 is a 2 liter dual over the cam inline 4 cylinder engine with an intercooled twin scroll turbocharger. This engine is good for 208 horsepower at 5500 RPM and it makes 258 pound rear torque anywhere from 1250 to 4000 RPM. This engine has direct injection technology. And it also has auto stop start which can be activated from the eco button on the dashboard. Auto start stop basically stalls the engine every time you come to a complete stop and when you let off the brake it will restart the engine to save fuel. The turbocharger also features twin scroll technology for the turbocharger to spool up quicker for better engine response. This all goes out to either the front or all four wheels with the formatic trim through a 7-speed dual-clutch automated manual transmission. Mercedes claims a curb weight of 3,262 pounds and they say that they can expect a 0-60 to 60 time of about 6.9 seconds. This car is required to run on premium fuel and the EPA rates this car at 26 miles per gallon in the city. 38 on the highway and 30 combined. This car comes standard with remote keyless entry. You have your lock, unlock, and you can pop the trunk open. It'll blip the horn once to indicate that it's locked. And if you unlock it, it'll flash the lunch. It will flash the lights once. At night, if the headlights are set to auto, it will turn the headlights on when you unlock it.
All four windows on this car are all auto up and down. It also has power mirrors. It has an eight-way power driver seat with power lumbar. It also has three position memory seating. And that's your power lock switch right here. To the left of the steering wheel, you have automatic headlights. Also for your parking lights. You also have, that's for your rear fog lights. You have your electronic parking brake right here. To push it in to set it, and to release it, you pull it towards you. So you have your turn signal controls, as well as your windshield wiper controls right here. The windshield wipers are fully automatic. If you want to indicate just three blinks only, you can move the turn signal stock a little bit. Also have your cruise control right here. This one is not equipped with the Distronic Plus package, but if you do offer it, you get adaptive cruise control, automatic parallel parking assist, and blind spot monitoring. On the steering, we have controls for your multi-function display in the center. Also select the various infotainment related displays right here. Can go back. We also have audio controls on the steering wheel, volume up and down, hands free Bluetooth controls, as well as a voice command. FM radio. That's just one of many examples of what the voice command can do. This car has a 7 speed dual clutch automated manual transmission. You can select it from this dock right here. Push it all the way down for drive, all the way up for reverse. And then you can push button on the side for park. To go into neutral, you can move the stock slightly up or down. There we go, that's neutral. If you put the vehicle into reverse, you get a reverse camera on the 8 inch display. It has distance lines and trajectory. The trajectory is based on the, which way you point the steering wheel, as you can see. It makes it a very easy car to park. You can put it in park right here. You also have steering wheel mounted paddle shifters to manually shift up and down. As far as this display right here, it's all controlled through this scroll wheel. As you can see, the map is fairly detailed and you can click down to go into the different sub menus for example I can choose between destination and position get real-time traffic updates and if I want to go into the map click the scroll wheel up push OK for full screen then we can zoom in and out Click it in, we can go up to go to our audio settings, we can tune the radio station from here, go to our phone settings, we can put a DVD, system settings, time, we can turn the display off, you can also go to Mercedes apps. If you download the Mercedes app, you can get access to certain functions. We'll see if we, it's not available. We also have internet radio, serious weather, Mercedes, no network available. There's also a back button. You can clear if in case you're writing a destination or some sort. You also have some redundant switches for the display right here. You can have a shortcut to navigation or the radio or your disc or your telephone. You can pick up or hang up, mute the system, go into system settings. See your volume control right here on and off of the display. You can also seek back and forth, that's to take all your discs out. Another clear button, this is a dial pad right here. 
has heated front seats, hazards right here. And this is to control your sport mode, eco mode, and manual mode for the transmission. As you can see, it's in eco right now. You can also put it into sport, manual. Also has dual zone automatic climate control. And now it's synchronized. And we have a defrost. Select the different mode, the circulation. Power outlet right here. So, a couple of this, my couple of this right here. Some storage. There's also an aux port in the power outlet down here, as well as a USB port. visor with the vanity light. Also has LED dome lights. This, this is to open the panoramic moonroof. Pull back to open the shade completely. And you can push it in one more time to close the shade. It's automatically dimming rear view mirror. Passenger seat is also eight way adjustable. As you can see from the door panel, it also has three position memory. As you can see, it has a perforated leather steering wheel with red stitching. So it has air vents in the rear seat, as well as a power outlet. And also open the trunk with the button under the Mercedes emblem. So you can and the rear seats do fold 60-40. And there's a center pass-through as well. Storage. Okay, well that about wraps up my tour on this 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe today and follow the links below to support me. Thank you.